So today, Miss Lana and I are talking about vocal flexibility and range extension. And what I mean by that is we are going to be singing some high notes. What I am really going for in today's video is making you feel more secure, more comfortable, and more supported when you're singing in the stratosphere or singing higher notes. So our next exercise, I'm going to keep it simple and then I'm going to add on another element to make it more difficult. Um, if you've ever seen the movie, The Aristocats, the cute little kitties sing um, a song called Scales and Arpeggios. And this isn't just um, a Disney thing. Uh, we actually, as singers, practice our skills and arpeggios because it makes our voice more flexible and it helps with our range extension. And there's a couple tricks to this. So first of all, let's talk about what an arpeggio is. You've probably heard that before. That's an arpeggio. What we're going to do is we're going to sing this on ya. I like ah vowels because it makes your mouth super open and as we sing higher in our register, the more open our mouth needs to be. We need more space for the sound that's going to come out. When you're low in your register, your mouth doesn't need to be as open. It still needs to be open, but not as much as we get higher. The other part of singing high is we need good breath support that we were using in our last video. So you need that low, nice, strong breath to support your high notes. The exercise will go like this. My mouth is very open. It's clearly an avel. I took a good breath. And what you're gonna do is just go up every time um, by half steps. Once you get kind of higher, when we get kind of in this land, um, this is A major if you know key signatures, um, the higher we go, like I said, the more open our mouth needs to be. Think of it like biting into an apple. Like you're, when you prep to bite into the apple, your mouth is really, really open. Another way to check or to help you open your mouth more is to yawn. Like, like that is also how open your mouth needs to be when you're singing these notes. So let me demonstrate. Do you see how my lips and my cheeks kind of did that as I got higher? And this works the higher you go. That was a high C. That's very scary. You don't have to sing that high. But because my mouth was open and I took a good breath, that note just popped right out. So try this and get comfortable with it. So the next part of this little exercise is some movement. So we had the next part of this exercise, once you are ready for it, goes like this. It's just a scale down. Now, this sounds scary. Singing scales is scary because sometimes you get off pitch and if you can't play the piano, it can get kind of fuzzy. Find check marks for yourself. Um, when you're when you're singing these notes that you can kind of land on make it musical make it fun Have fun with it and move I like when I'm singing these notes especially as I get higher I'm the type of singer. I get a little nervous when I sing high notes um, So if I just add a little movement it definitely relaxes me and makes me forget that I am singing high so the full exercise goes like this that's kind of in the middle part of my voice so as you get higher this is G major opened my mouth to get that high note so to recap, make sure your mouth is open, like really open, have good breath support, 
and have fun with these. Dance around and, and sing these like you're singing your favorite song and they'll work. The more fun you have, I, I really feel the better that these work. Another thing I recommend is practice these in front of a mirror so that you can see that your mouth is open. Sometimes we don't feel that our mouth isn't as open as it needs to be. So having that visual being like, oh yeah, my mouth is not very open will really help as well. Well, I hope that you have fun singing these high notes as much as I have fun singing these high notes. I promise the more you practice, the better it'll feel. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and Lana and I will see you next time. Bye choir.